Nazi Germany. The final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command for one reason. To retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of Allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. This was meant to be our first and only mission. Properly shot at. Might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but you won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the bricks. All we have is a name Phoenix. Oh, so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holiest of holies. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? They did. The six of us. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? The brass handpick six specialists to hit the crowds fast and get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait. We can't go in loud. Arthur? Whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich. And the Krauts kept them here. In the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah, that's why we brought the guns, to shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three, take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Webb, Novak, you're with me. We'll take the boat. Be good. We gotta move. Now, Novak, help me. Australia. And also you. Get on with it. How delightful. You think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So you know better than to 
Ruin the man's evening. Beethoven's fourth sonata has exquisite but demanding passages that deserve my full attention. Unlike you. Does the Negro give orders in English too? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! <laughs> <laughs> Please, proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us thrashing you again. Thrashing. <laughs> thrashing. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself to be a, a leader. <laughs> I am not here to give you what you want. Quite a counter. Give you What you say? Dispose of that. Put the rest in the trap. Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes. Let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. <laughs> Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh, yeah? What kind Forget of Against Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What? Because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. The first time I did was on D-Day. All right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I 
trains you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery. And fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by! Didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sixth airborne to assemble. Henry said we have till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit down. Yeah, there's also no muscle or no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. You two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We should get... Well, that was a fucking kerfuffle. Hey, Sarge got it done. We're still here, aren't we? I suppose. Eight men standing against the Nazi gun fort. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes, a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that, and realized we were cut from the same cloth. Webb went up ahead. I think they're waiting on you, Sarge. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're well, going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. I think you should go first. <laughs> All right then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, 
If they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up.